All right. Alan from Dicotic just posted a bandmade cover of Sayana Kadori, uh, and I played drums on it. But I'm really excited to see this. I've heard like some rough mixes along the way. Alan worked really hard on it. And for some reason, he didn't feel like it was that great. But I think it's awesome. And I haven't seen the video yet, so I'm excited to watch this. Let's check it out. Dude, okay, right off the bat, I gotta say, Alan just goes 200% on everything. This video, it's, the editing is so cool, so high quality, like, the amount of effort he puts into the video, making it look cool and polished, you gotta appreciate that. Oh, and Bjorn is on the bass for this, by the way. The bass playing is also phenomenal. Um, but yeah, I just really appreciate the effort Alan puts into the videos doing like doing these cool cloning effects, having backdrops behind, uh, green screen work and stuff. Just gotta love that. Okay, since we're talking about Sayanakadori, I gotta say, that time change in there where it switches from 4-4 to 3-4, just mm, so beautifully done. But, dude, I absolutely love this instrumental version. It's almost like blending the acoustic versions, because it's the acoustic arrangement, but blending that with the more rock electric sound, you know? I think it's a really cool uh sound and the mix is phenomenal the bass playing also everything's so tight like it's such an honor to be on this cover with these guys uh and by the way check out bjorn's youtube channel as well he's done a lot of band made remixes and covers and really experimenting with different sounds so i'll put that below as well next to the link to this video uh anyway all right right there <laughs> dude that guitar solo was awesome love the seamless tapping he threw in there and the way he danced around the lead melody but also did some really took some cool liberties did some awesome improv he was talking about his process behind putting this together 
on, I think this week's, the last episode of the Gaijin Guys, which if you don't know, is a podcast, Japanese music podcast that I do with Alan, Ryan Meir, and Champ of Medium. But, dang, like, Alan's such a great guitar player. Bjorn and Alan both are the best music mixers I know, and it's just such an honor to be on this cover with them. Hold on, I'm going to go back to the... That acoustic sounds so good. Like, that, it sounds so full. I love how he had Bjorn's bass as the backdrop for that. Right there. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, cool. And how those two, like, um, cutout things shrunk back into him when he slid out. Oh, wait. It's up here. See the cutouts just slide in as he goes down? That's so cool, man. Uh, Alan's editor is phenomenal. Or I th- I'm guessing his regular video editor who did like uh, the monochrome video and the Attack on Titan video also did this one because it's a lot of the same editing style, and I just love his style. It's so cool. Um, video looks phenomenal. The bass ascending the power chord. Oh my gosh. That was tasty. Well, thank you so much, Alan, for having me on this cover. And thank you, Bjorn, for the bass. I had no idea you were playing bass on this until I pulled up this video. But yeah, it's really exciting. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this. Go support the original video if you enjoyed this. Let Alan know if you appreciate his hard work. And uh, that's where I'm going to wrap this up. So thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time.